Harold W. Souther, Livermore Falls, Maine, the house where I am presently sitting is where I was born, June 29, 1924. I moved once from upstairs to downstairs. It was always a diversified farm, poultry, dairy, crops, and woodlot. Presently, it produces hay. The barn is rented for animals, and I grow about a garden, an acre of garden crops, and sell hay. I think it's very hard for small farms to stay afloat in this um, period of time between the cost of fuel to run tractors, the cost of grain bills. Um, it's just, it always seems to be an uphill climb for small farms. For that reason, I think there has to be a given outside income uh, that you can count on and know that you've got some financial stability. You can plant a crop of corn and hope for the best, but depending on weather or whatever, it's, it's not a given that you're going to get income back from that. So for us to put in 20 acres to solar seemed like a very wise decision to keep our small farm afloat. Revision builds solar projects of all scales, from you know rooftop residential projects to community scale projects like the one you see here. Um, and we work with local farmers and local landowners to find places to build those projects. One of the things we're trying to do is to make sure that the solar projects that are being built in Maine are beneficial for the communities that they uh, land in. And so we work with landowners who are looking for a productive use of a part of their land. We are thrilled that it's all staying local or within the state of Maine. There's five school systems that will benefit from our 20 acres of solar. That's already beginning to show a big impact on their electrical bills. It feels that I'm contributing something to society. I think I contributed food and milk to society. Now the farm is yielding some power that's much needed and appreciated. For the next 25 years, the farm is secured, and that's important to us. That little bit of 20 acres out of 135 protects the rest of the farm so that we can continue to hay or plant vegetables or whatever we decide to do. When the right is, light is right, it looks like a distant lake with the trees growing up right to the edge of the water. When the light is just right, I stand in the kitchen window and it looks very much like a, like a distant lake.